All right, so the first step is to go into your sidebar, go to settings and members, and then under my settings, change your notion to dark mode. Next is to always have icons for everything. So never have empty icons in your Notion workspace. If you go into your sidebar, all of your pages should have icons. If you click on these toggles, all of them should have icons. If you open up these, all of them should have icons. So never have empty icons, whether you use Notion icons or emojis or custom icons, it doesn't matter. Just always use icons for database entries, databases, and also just normal pages. Next is to hide the database title. Just click on this menu, click on hide database title. And if you wanna show it again, just go inside of your database menu, go to layout, and then here just select show database title. And if you hide it and you want to change the name or icon, just click on the database block menu, click on rename, and here you can rename your database as well as give it an icon. Next is going to be to add your databases inside of colored boxes. So just type in slash colored box, select the colored box, drag and drop your database inside, and then just add in the name of your database. So in this case, it's going to be inbox, and then make it bold, underline it, and change the text color to green, and then also give an icon to your colored box. And the reason for the colored boxes, besides just the aesthetics, is that it's much easier to create multi-column layouts, making it a lot easier to build a Notion dashboard for yourself. Next is going to be to change the database view names and icons. So just click on a database view, click on rename, and then here you can rename it and also give an icon. Or if it's a view like this and it's collapsed, just click on this dropdown, click on the menu, click on the rename, and then here you can remove the name by just pressing a space and then you can also give an icon for your database view. Next is going to be to add icons to all of your properties. So simply just click on a property and then here you can change the icon or you can go inside of your database menu, go to properties and then here you can select the property that you want and then change the icon here as well. The next step will save you a lot of time which is to add icons to template buttons. So just click on this drop down next to new and then here you can click on new template at the bottom and then just give it an icon. So if I just go here, add an icon, let's just do the circle one. And now I can click on this drop down, and I can either click on this to add a new task with this template button, aka add the icon, or I can open this one and I can select it like that. Or what you can also do is you can click on this drop down, go to your template button, and then you click on this menu and then click set as default for all views. And now every time you create a new database entry, it will automatically have that icon. And this step goes hand in hand with the second one, which is to never have empty icons for your pages, which includes database entries like this. So a quick way to automate the process of adding icons is to just add a template button and then set that template button as default. The next step I learned from John inside of my Notion Wizards community, which is that you can change the color of your buttons by just clicking on the button block menu, go to color, and then here you can change the text color as well as the background color of your Notion buttons. Step number nine is to create the main dashboard for yourself like this one, which contains everything inside of your Notion workspace. So you don't have a bunch of pages in your sidebar. Everything is inside of this one dashboard. You can add an animated cover, you can personalize it, you can improve and adapt it over time. But the important thing is that everything is organized inside of this one main dashboard. Which brings me to the last step, which is to create an areas database like this one to manage and organize all of the pages in your sidebar by just dragging and dropping them into one of these pages. And you can also link these pages to your tasks, projects, ideas, or resources in order to manage and organize all of the information inside of your Notion dashboard. And as a bonus step, make sure you check out the first link in the description to my free Notion Wizards community if you want access to a full Notion course, challenges, resources, templates, as well as weekly group calls and a lot more. If you found this video useful, then make sure to give it a like. Otherwise, press that dislike button twice just to make sure. Thank you for watching and I'll see you inside the community.